having some problems there. Sorry. Are we on? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Fun Facts About the Saints. I hope everybody is doing great. Um, today is Tuesday, June 1. And um, today we received a very special guest today. We received a visit from St. Dustin himself. And he, I can see that he is here just in time. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh my gosh! Don't punish us with your bad humor. Oh, 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 oh Dustin, you funny oh, guy. Oh my gosh. Well, why don't you tell us about yourself, man? Uh, first of all, Nick, uh -huh. thank you for letting me on your show. Have me on your show. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know. Um, and you'll forgive me that my... My beard and mustache are a little out of sorts, but that's all right. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I'm in heaven. What do I care what my mustache looks like? Anyway. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, here I am, Nick. I was born in around the year 100 mm. A.D., all right? And um, I came from a pagan family, mm. right? Okay. I was born in, like, the Palestine area. I was a Gentile. I wasn't Jewish. Mm. But I was, I was really a seeker. I was a searcher. I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know what life is all about. I wanted to know if there was a God. I wanted to know if there was, you know, uh, the meaning of, of our existence. And I, I was a seeker. I was a seeker. And I, hmm. I would hang out with all kinds of different types of philosophers, uh, uh, the Platonists and, and some other uh, philosophical traditions. And then I finally encountered... Um, Christians mm. and they witnessed to me and I looked into it and I became convinced and I became a Christian and I decided that I would um, go uh, defend the Christian faith uh, mm. and I ended up going throughout the Roman Empire and uh, ended up in Rome mm. uh, during the um, uh, reign of Marcus the um, Marcus Aurelius um, and I mean, I, I was defending Christianity and I wrote a lot. In fact, my apologia or my apology, uh -huh. which is a defense of the faith, right? Uh -huh. I was a defender of the faith. I was an apologist. That's the word apology means. Uh -huh. um, but basically, I wrote my apology as a response to those who were persecuting us. And I, and I, I essentially, my apologia was a description of what Christians really believed. Because mm. I figured if you're going to kill us. If you're going to persecute us, at least you should know what you're killing us for. Mm -hmm. So my uh, my apologia and my other writings that survived, really there's only two. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one called The Apology and then there was one called um, The Dialogue. Um, but basically they were some of the earliest testimonies to what Christians believed in the early church outside of Scripture. Mm. Right? So, um, and then... In 165, so I was 65 years old, uh -huh. after a lifetime of writing in defense of the faith and, and telling people about, about the faith and defending the faith to people, um, I was denounced uh, by a um, pagan philosopher, mm. and um, I was ordered to sacrifice to the gods, to the Roman gods, or else be killed. And I refused, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, I'm famous for saying, no right-minded man, right man forsakes truth for falsehood, even if it means um, my death. So uh, I would, and the reason I've got the sword here today, Nick, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, the sword is because they, uh, once I refused to um, sacrifice to the gods because of my faith, um, they cut off my head. Wow. And here I am today in heaven hmm. so my my uh you might think that my last name is martyr mm -hmm. it's not oh all right they call me justin martyr because uh they because i was so resolute in my faith uh that uh i became that became kind of a nickname um that mm -hmm. uh, my real name was just justin um but martyr became a, uh, a nickname for me because I was a very uh, prominent defender of the faith. And when I was martyred, mm. um, everybody heard about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why they, they call me Justin the Martyr or just Justin Martyr. Mm. And today is my memorial or my feast day. Mm. So, 
Well, uh, with, with all that, we will, oh, I mean, is there anything else you want to share? You just want to ask me any questions? I guess I pretty much went through it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do I have anything else to share? Oh, only this, Nick. You've had, I know you've had a lot of other martyrs on your show, and I think they've probably talked about this, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. And we're joking around, and I'm laughing, and I'm telling you, I had my cut, head cut off and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Let me just tell you that, you know, what I, what I said, uh, hold on here. No right-minded man forsakes truth for falsehood. And I'm adding here, even if it means death, even if it means giving up my life. Mm. You know, martyrdom is no joke. I mean, uh, you, you know, when, when the martyrs are tortured and then they're killed in horrible ways. You know, some of them actually experienced crucifixion, just like Jesus, like St. Peter and, and some others, wow. St. Andrew. Um, but, uh, I mean, martyrdom, in other words, the physical part of it, the suffering, the physical suffering associated with martyrdom is no joke. But you know what? It's over in an instant. Once we're killed and we're dead, uh, if we've really lived our lives, sold out to Jesus, abandoned to him, and completely dedicated to him and refusing to compromise on our faith uh, and refusing to compromise um, compromise on our beliefs and, mm -hmm. and our convictions, then we go from that quick moment of death, of martyrdom, mm -hmm. into a glorious eternity. Wow. So if you just think about the, uh, the trade-off between one moment, you know, one moment or several, I mean, uh, a, per a short period of time of suffering, mm -hmm. And then death, and then an eternity of paradise, with with exploring the um, uh, the life of the Trinity for all eternity, uh, mm -hmm. is it's worth it. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. So that's it. That was my last comment. All right. Well, we're gonna close up with a prayer as usual. All right. Amen. God, in a wonderful manner, you taught and guide the martyr, the lofty science of your of Jesus Christ manifested in the folly of the cross. There is intercession grant that we may never fall into error but remain firm in the faith. Amen. Amen. Saint Justin, pray for us. I will. That's all okay. Amen. Well, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for joining us, Saint Justin. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me on. Say hi. To, I'll say hi to all your saintly friends for you awesome what's for um what's for um lunch up there and the i have like how to tell you um uh uh you probably haven't seen the menu yet <laughs> i haven't seen the menu yet what, what is he making in there um is it a or is it asian is it asian noodles and stuff yeah yeah some some type of uh some type of asian food Wow. Um, I'm sure it's going to be great. And it'll and, and it'll be just in time because I'm hungry. Oh! <laughs> wow, you're a really punny saint. <laughs> reflections all week. Um, for the announcements, reflections all week. So, this has been, um, so, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all next time here on Fun Facts About the Saints. God bless you all.